Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to our Let's Play of E4 with Red Bastard as Byzantium. Where we last left off, we had just beaten up Tunis again. This time the war went much more smoothly. First war. Yeah, that was embarrassing. I mean, we won, but it wasn't pretty. We're simply waiting for the opportunity to attack Egypt now. We'll probably have to deal with a rebellion. Whoa. Save game failed. Um, that's not good. Uh, one sec. Was not respawning. One second here. If you just pull the cord out of the back there. Cat might have um, just disconnected my Ethernet cable. It likes laying down behind the computer where the fan will keep him warm. Let's just check. See if we do have internet access. Yeah. Yeah. Seems like that was the issue. Now let's try to save. Hopefully it won't give us that error again. Okay. I think we're good. And we'll get a new royal marriage here with them. Great Britain lads there. So Great Britain is somebody I was thinking about that we could probably attack. I'm not sure what their land system is. So Brittany, Russia. We could actually attack Brittany and get a start over here. We just have to move our troops into France. And then we wouldn't even need to worry about naval domination. But if we called in France and Castile, we could easily land, I think. Okay, Basileus is a conqueror. Good. Let's keep an eye on how loyal or disloyal Austria is. Look at they have 50,000 troops and pretty good reputation or um, opinion of us. We could improve our relations a little bit more. Now that bad monarch has mostly gone away. Two thirds of it are gone. Uh, lose some naval tradition, that's fine. And we are converting fairly rapidly. See if any estates can give us anything. They could give us money. We'll take it. Didn't somebody take this? We did. Uh, that would get their loyalty really low, but they'll get over it. And we should annex them in just a couple months.
So it did drop our Diplo rep for a little while. But the Liberty Desire of Austria is still really loyal. And if we pay off their loans, if they ever have them again, we could drop it even further. They will bust that fort. And that one. We're going to protect trade in Constantinople. And those three navies should merge up eventually. Let's get this fleet over here. Okay, France is apparently going to attack Norway, who I think has been exiled to the New World in their entirety. Colombia, where's Norway though? I could just search for them, but I'm curious if I can see them. Okay, Norway, where are you? So they're not in the New World. We don't need that. That wasn't part of the Roman Empire. Okay, our Sunni Zealots are no longer a problem. Up in the Crimean region. So we're getting our troops out of there. And we only have to worry about Tunis. And even then, that's not going to be too much once we get it all cored even before the conversions happen. Okay, which month can we invade? May. And we might as well make this a state. And this as well. We can give that to our burgers, make them a little bit more loyal. Okay. Portugal has no air. But you guys, you wouldn't roam Marius. Let's see imperfections there, though. Maybe they will. Okay, that truce is over, our troops are in position, and their only ally is Brunei. Yeah, it's probably not going to work out very well for them. Let's wait for the first of the month. And they're not paying this for it at all, so we'll just rush them. Okay, these guys, we actually probably don't need both, so let's split them up into four. You go there, 
you know, there. They can just completely ignore that fourth zone of control because it is not being paid. They're not paying Alexandria for this one either. They're only paying their capital for it. But we can't get there past Cairo. And we'll move our line forward. We go there, we go there, we go there. Okay, Kabilia is rising up. Well, why don't we send these troops back as soon as we've captured these provinces here? So we'll just grab you two and move you both to Constantine. Okay, traveling minstrel, we can either get 10 prestige and a level 2 artist, or we'll just get the stability. Yeah, not, not a real difficult choice. We're sitting at basically max prestige. you Ethiopia well we could beat them up to take over the holy cities only allies Oman not really going to be able to put up much of a fight but that's not a priority right now They had time on military tech once again. Let's get their royal mortars. Yeah, I imagine you do want peace. Sadly, we're still coring, so you're stuck with war. Okay, those are dry lands, so we're just going to charge through them. It's not even a general, I don't imagine. They don't have one. Pull these guys back because we're suffering a little bit of attrition. Okay, 
Okay, only one province to convert. Pretend to rebels. <laughs> okay, we were in perfect relations with Great Britain with the intention of really marrying them. Let's wait till they get out of this war. If they're at peace and they still don't have an heir, I will royal marry them. Let's see if we can grab that personal union. Okay, pretend to rebels. Do you s yeah, we still have a von Habsburg. Okay, we can take 52.8 worth of stuff right now. This will be 60 as soon as we get this. Yeah, it'd be nice to get a personal union over Portugal. Uh, 500 ducats? Yeah, we'll take that. Because we need 5,300. I mean, we did build a bunch of universities, so we could just wait for them. The spread, I mean, it's 0.56 per month in general. No. Okay, so 60. Those are our target number here. And we definitely want that right away. Definitely want their fort. Let's get this. That way we can attack down into Mecca and Medina if we feel like it. As well. Point eight. Fifty nine point two. And we could take all of their money. And we could force them to release some people down there. But I think I'd just rather have a shorter truce timer. So we'll take war reparations, all of their money, and sixty overextension worth of stuff from them. Actually we don't need that one. This would get us a border. And I would leave that for Persia if they want to take it. Let's see. I guess we could leave that for now, but I think we do want a little bond. 62. What about you? 54. 57. Yeah, this will work. definitely get Alexandria converted right away because we can't easily get troops there except by ship. And we'll send this other army back up there. Actually we can just move this army here pick them up. Okay, Portugal got an heir. Great Britain did not, and they're at peace. So let's make a bid. We would like your government. Give us your country. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Let's see how long this video has been going on. 20 minutes.
I'm definitely thinking that we should be getting plus three advisors here. Okay, who's going to be our next target? Um, Austria lost their cores. No, they still have some cores up there. Um, if we attacked you, would the Emperor actually dare to defend you? They would. We care if they would, though. Um, maybe. They're well defended. And they're well defended. Did everyone protect them? Because Seal's defender of the Catholic faith. <laughs> okay, what about you, Brittany? Great Britain would. So let's wait and see what happens with this. No great targets at the moment. No. Again, a little bit of corruption. We could attack Morocco. I still bear a grudge, so that sounds like a fine idea. Of course. Let's start building up some spy power here, just to make our job a little bit easier. Now we don't need much, but we're going to take um, some of their coast. We're just going to cut across there. Okay, our good advisor, since he's plus three, gives us the choice between the 50 admin or 50 prestige, and then gives us an effect for the next six years. So we want the admin, of course. I don't think they have enough troops to eject us from here, even in the mountains. Unless they've got a really good general, or get really good rolls. Maybe one. Okay, where is that? That's an Egypt too. Well, land we took from Egypt. It's all east of that. Yeah, let's definitely get this. That plus to dipper diplo rep will be really useful. And next month we can start coring this last province. Seven percent chance of surrendering. I 
annoying thing is that this war could go on for a while. I don't know what they're fighting over. Oh, Egyptian California, of course. Right by Scottish Baja California. Yeah, I mean, you know, what you'd expect. Let's get a screenshot of that. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to click that. I was just meant to put our cursor over there. Egyptian California. Yeah. Breton, Canada, and Louisiana. <laughs> the craziness that happens if you eliminate Ottomans. Ah, okay, England got an error. Jerks. I mean, it's a long shot, but. Could have done the SF Haven just giving us their country. The way Austria did was polite of them. It was a hundred ducats? Nah. Nah, oh, fam. Okay, let's go around here. What's going on up here? Just a little caravan. Okay, we can embrace this. Let's give it a month. That way we have a little bit of money. And we are done with institutions for the rest of the game. And that's always fun. We could have waited for some more institution spread, but I mean, all it would have done is given us money. Let's just head south. We haven't even seen their army yet. We're just waiting for stuff to core before we can take over their coast anyway. Uh, they have rebels, so let's kill those guys. We'll charge them for it. Get on their bell. I think they call Portugal into the war. No interest in doing that. Yeah, we're doing on tech. Ahead of time on military tech. Now we got caught spying on Morocco. And let's get these guys over there. They do have a two-star general. So that did strip our manpower quite a bit. Excuse me. And 14 more percent to go. And then we'll see what we can take from them. Well, let's get a figure on what would happen if we just took their coast. So we better take those. That's our goal, 48. So we need 52. Yeah, we'll definitely have enough. Possibly take more. Second here. Okay, how long has this video been going on? I'm getting 
don't know if you guys could hear that. Um, this is going to be a video call in the coming because I'm supposed to be doing that in a minute. I thought this was that I had more time. So let's uh, just see if we can get a peace deal here. Okay, we can take 54 worth of stuff. And come on. Timbuk 2 has surrendered. Okay, we can take 60 worth of stuff. Let's see if they will cave in. So they would give us 48. We can take. No, that'd be way too much anyway. We could take that as well. Almost get us up to 60. Take their money. And I don't think they have any allies. They're guaranteeing some people in other regions that we don't care about. Uh, can we get your money? No war ups. And we just upset the Muslim world. That's a pretty good piece of guys can hear that background I just want to deal with these forts okay there we are and of the faith now oh, we're okay okay we are at 98 Point four overextension. We'll move these guys up to here, and these guys up to here. And I'm gonna stop it there. So thank you for watching. This has been another Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Byzantium.